today we're going to look at Pearson's correlation coefficient. Let's go ahead and start by opening up our practice workbook. We're looking at practice workbook CD for the fall 2014 semester. And right here in the prompt, is there a link between the amount of education and annual wages? Since it's asking for a link, we want to see if there is a correlation. So we're going to use uh, Pearson's on this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Mac. Uh, Excel 2011. I'm going to open that workbook. I have education and annual wages as the two variables which we're going to test. Now at this point I need to open Stat Plus for Mac. Okay. Now it doesn't look like it's done much again, but as I said, check the status bar up here at the top. You'll see Stat Plus open. We're going to go Statistics, Basic Statistics and Tables. We're going to come down to Linear Correlation, Pearson. Click on that. Again, we have the familiar icon right here. Go ahead and give it a single click. Come over back to your Excel workbook. As you can see, it's already selected if you look in the status bar. Click and hold, highlight both columns, including the labels. All the way down, make sure everything's included then hit command and tab to go return back to your uh, to your prior application which is stat plus open the preferences menu just to make sure display format decimals 2 is fine alpha value 5% is fine click OK click OK again and it'll open up a new workbook within this workbook we're going to just go ahead and Highlight that, click and hold, let go, and hit Command C to copy. I'm going to minimize this workbook, and I'm going to press Command V to paste. Command V. Let's fix this up. And the last thing we need to do is have our our graph, our scatter plot. Again, what I'm going to do is highlight both columns including the labels again click on scatter marked scatter just make this a little bigger go over to chart layout put our trend line in linear trend line come over to format I'm sorry back to chart and we're gonna look at the charts that we have quick chart layouts click it twice, come all the way to the end. You see the f of x function on there, layout number 9 on my computer. Right there. And that's your basic layout for the uh, for the chart. So pretty simple. Uh, you can go ahead and double click there. I'm sorry. Double click in here. And change your axis titles, which you'll need to do. Same thing there. Change the name of your chart by just clicking in there. And that's all it takes to do that. If you'd like to change your the background here, one of the most exact ways to do it is go current selection and your plot area. And your plot area is this background right here. And from from that way you can go to fill and maybe you wanted a light gray background. Or maybe you wanted a red a light red background or something like that. Um, you can click by doing that. Whatever you think uh, will help help out best. So, uh, good luck. This is Pearson's correlation coefficient.